Hello and welcome to this week's energy forecast. My name is Avalon Starlight. I am an author of a best-selling book, The Magical Business Method, and also a reverend transformation specialist, helping you clear out your chakras so that you can live your most fulfilled life. And today we're going to be talking about the energy forecast for November 6th to 12th. This is a big week. I say that every week, I think, but this is a big week because we're in Scorpio season, which we have talked about, which is about, you know, really sitting in the depth of your emotions. Scorpios, I'm surrounded by them. They are deep. They want us to see the shadow and the light, to see the spectrum of who we are, to, to play in the shadows of who we are. And as we navigate next Monday, when I tune in next Monday, we will be at the Scorpio new moon and that will propend moving past this week. But until then, we are in the descent into darkness, which is what I call from third quarter moon to new moon. This is a time where we are meant to go into our shadows to seek an aspect or a part of ourselves that we're meant to nurture and to love and to support and to hug and however you see your shadow aspects. And, but we're in Scorpio season. So now the descent into the darkness is more intense. It is more extreme this week. It is about being willing to sit in the parts that you maybe haven't been wanting to look at or wanting to, to like really honor within yourself. You know, we, we often think that thinking positive and being positive is the way that we're meant to experience the world. And that's how we live our most spiritual lives. But the truth is, and this is what I truly know and believe for myself, it's finding the aspects that we feel kind of like ashamed of or afraid of, or that we're going to be judged by. And we find those aspects and those parts of ourselves. And then we give those love. And that's what brings us to wholeness, to completeness, when we are no longer resisting or trying to push away the parts in which need us the most. And so as we descend towards the Scorpio new moon next Monday, we're going to have to sit in this place and be willing to get uncomfortable so that we can offer love, support, guidance, and appreciation to those parts of ourselves that we have maybe been just not paying attention to or pushing off to the side for a later date or not wanting to have that loving conversation with. And so again, I always believe that there are no coincidences in our lives. And the fact of the matter was I was in a terrible mood yesterday. I was a crankosaurus rex. Everything was wrong in my life. Everything was wrong. And I'll share about it in my vlog, which will come out on Wednesday about just how cranky I was in my first week, not being on social media. And, you know, it was that aspect of me that I needed to give kindness to. I needed to sit with her. I didn't, I couldn't do it guys. I couldn't do it yesterday, but as again, there's no coincidences. I went to the gym this morning. I'm listening to Kyle Cease's The Illusion of Money for the second time. It's a brilliant book. I highly recommend it. And he brought this, this exact premise back to me. He reflected, he mirrored back what I needed to hear that then I could bring to you, which is what this week is about. It is being in that discomfort, finding where we are full of tension and angst and discomfort and emotional grrr, finding those parts, sitting with them. What's wrong? Why are you here? What is your, what is your angst about? Why are you so sad? What is it so deep? Like, and then giving them love, offering them what they didn't receive in the first place, right? And so that could be look like sitting there in complete silence, which is the most beautiful gift you can ever give yourself, but one of the hardest things you can do because it's in the silence that we are left with nothing but our internal selves. So find some silence this week. I highly recommend it. Find some silence, let the emotional wave come rolling up from the depth of your soul and be uncomfortable and sit there and be like, oh, what is this? What is this? I don't like this. That resistance, go below it. What is this discomfort? Oh, it's, it's frustration. It's anger. It's sadness. It's grief. It's, you know, shame. It's guilt. It's like, oh, it's all that. <laughs> and then say, why are you here? Where, where did you come from? 
Is this young? Is this old? Let that emotion talk to you and then say, what can I do to support you? How can I love you? Do you need a hug? Do you need a walk? Do you need to just sit here and just feel me pouring love into your sweet, tender soul? Give that to yourself this week. That is the work that this moon is going to bring towards us because we are just coming out of the tail end of that eclipse. And there was a lot that came up. And this is just like that steam that just needs to be released. Uh, that's just like the, the residual or the after effects or the aftershock of eclipse. And so there is going to be all those stirrings to, to, to let flow through you. And the thing is, is not to attach to the emotion and think you are that emotion. You are not that emotion. You are experiencing that emotion. You are expressing that emotion. That emotion is you, but it's not you, right? Like you are not sad because an emotion of sadness is flowing through from an area of your life or a past version of experience. You get to witness that, that sadness and be like, oh, I'm so sad. Oh, sadness. I love you. You had every right to be sad. You don't need to be sad. Let me, let me honor you. Let me celebrate you. Let me rejoice in, in what you didn't receive and what made you sad in the first place. So that is our work this week, just to let those emotions roll up. This is the depth of Scorpio, the shadow work, the coming to completion, that coming to wholeness, that allowing yourself to be all of these facets. It's not about not being sad or angry or morose or grief, filled with grief. It's about being those, acknowledging them, letting them express so that you're not holding on to them and let the waves, there's going to be some deep waves this week, right? Scorpios don't, they don't play around with their emotions. They go where those emotions are taking them. And so let yourself roll through them. Just be with them, everyone. Just crest that wave with love. And that is our work this week. I'm using my Sacred Creators Oracle deck by Chris Ann Donnelly for the card of the week. And whoop, <laughs> I love when they do that. Oh, I love this. Ambush fear with your ferocious dream. So we have this opportunity to let the waves of emotions come rolling through us. And it's really fascinating because I always say we can only be as successful as we have space within us to hold. So when we cram down thoughts, feelings, emotions, and experiences that are not in alignment to who we think we believe or we, who we think we need to be or believe that we need to be in order to be successful, ordered to receive abundance and all those kinds of things, then we end up with this backlog of energy that is just taking up space in our energy that then creates uh, irrational illusional fears and so the way that we get through that is by allowing ourselves to be the expression of each of these experiences in the now without attachment to who we were in the moments that we were experiencing and the moments that we were feeling them so the key here in this week is not to play in the game of the judgments of who we were at those times, right? It's not like, oh, you could have done so much better. Oh my gosh, you didn't let this happen or you did that and you start to judge the emotion that's coming up or the experience or that moment, that memory. That's not what this is about. That's not what this card is telling us. There has to be full like depth of appreciation for yourself, appreciation for doing your best in that moment and appreciation in this moment that you're willing to, to sit in the emotions as they're coming up because that's really beautiful and that's a celebration in itself. And most people will skip over this but not understanding that that's the biggest thing, like that is the biggest celebration. You're doing things that people aren't really taught to do or told to do or given ideas on how to do it and you're doing it. You're doing it, you're sitting in the discomfort, you're letting these emotions come up, you're offering them the support, love, and appreciation in this moment, even though it's past. So re refrain from the judgments of who you were. That's only going to keep the, the programs running, you know what I mean? So this is a really gentle, compassionate week of allowing yourself to be in the full expression of Scorpio depth, letting these deep recessed emotions roll up experiencing them in the moment with love, multiple avenues of love, all the love that you can give and just 
being present with yourself. And if you can do that, my friends, it's going to be a good week. The more you resist this, the more it's going to feel. And if that face did not give you an idea of the, the opposite to just giving yourself love, then I don't know what's going to do it. So again, if you've made it this far in this video, I would love to hear how this lands for you as well. If you think that this video is going to support someone in your life, in your community, please share it. Let's get this message around of the energy forecast so that we can, we can create spaces where it's safe and it's, and it's secure and we're held in the fullest expression of our emotional selves and who we are at the depth. Even these little dark aspects, they are beautiful. They are beautiful. They're part of who we are. And I love you and I hope you have a very glorious emotional week.